ticket number 57. Let's review our jackpot. Let's review our $30,000 jackpot strategy. Again, looking at, um, at whatever showed up on my YouTube feed. I think the name was Fleece Johnson. I still gotta look at the video. And it's by the Hodge twins. He says, Yeah, that dude, the booty bandit, he just got released from prison. I'm thinking, Oh, me? Oh, he know me. <laughs> but I'm, I don't know how to feel about that because he's a predator. So I'm guessing he's gonna go back to the hood. And you'd probably be out and about at night and they'd probably be like, motherfucker, I wish you would and fucking take a motherfucker's cheeks. So yeah, yeah, you're letting a wild animal out into a zoo. And then again, watching the uh, the details of Ippolito Mora and the cartel that burned them down. And it's all for what? Just for more money? You think me? Well, how much? Not how much more do you need? Just how much more are you desiring? Lusting. Only have one mouth, so what do you need a thousand steaks? You only got one ass, you gotta sit, so you can put your ass on 10 different cars. Probably sleep in one bed in one house, and but what led to that, and then you know, the drugs that are being used. And again, don't think that this is, I'm only going, criticizing drug cartel members or their leaders, but the governments that are in cahoots with them and also the, the, in my opinion, the, in most cases, the far left that don't acknowledge the woke sickness. This bubble that we're, what's it called? Um, this pe petri dish that we're putting real life humans in. And, and um, I'm not sure if we're desensitizing them or making them extra sensitive to reality. And we're, you know, this leads kids to antidepressants, you know, in, in my opinion. To drug use, to hanging out with a low frequency crowd, a bad crowd, another victim victim mentality crowd. And there's this, there's this whole structure of corruption, weakness, evil, greed. Hoarding of resources. Mentality of scarcity or not being resourceful. And as I was saying, you know, when I, when I think of all this, right, you know, before I used to be, um, this is an art channel. And, how I did, how oh, sorry, from the bottom, now we're here. And I would, and you can see me sketch things out, draw them, redraw them, ink them, color them, paint them, plan out, and then, I, then after doing all of that, I started posting up um, a couple of scratches that I got from uh, this one uh, lunch spot. I'll do a video there too, it's a, it's a great spot. 
And I started getting more views on these. <laughs> on these. You know, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Hey, an audience is an audience. Dude. And, um, plus, um, you, know, you never know. You know I could win. What, what happens here? Another episode, two episodes. I'll say three episodes, but that used to be in and out, in and out number, but now it's three episodes. Now there's in and out because of gas and how how far I drive. Chick fil A, Chick fil A with a friend, barbecue, um, restaurant uh, with my dogs. E either one of these uh, uh, barbecue, restaurant, barbecue, restaurant with my dogs. Uh, have my equipment upgrade for this channel, and I'll be investing in uh, at least two other businesses, not just mine. With that money there. So. But I'm, but I'm not here like. Like saying. Show with the other ones. Oh man I gotta scratch them all. I gotta find. I gotta find. I gotta find the money. And the, there's a barcode here right. There's. Cause once you win. Look there's a, a barcode over here. You can just scan that, that barcode. Because apparently if it's a winner, this is part of it, right? To keep from, um, what is it? Because that's, that's the number that um, claims your prize. Oh, I remember saying it. Oh, no, no, to be friends with that. But I could just scratch that and be like, scan it under the, um, the lottery Lottery scanner machine. Be like, did I win? Did I win? Did I win? But no, just um, for people that are into lottery. Because ima imagine if we all, if every jackpot winner got their money. It's like, oh, that's cool, man. First, let me get some good food, make a little feast, and enjoy it with um, those that I care for. But now let me think, what can I do with the, the chunk of it? Because I think so many of us, for me, it's it's normal. I've heard it more than once by people that I know and people that I've seen on TV that say, yeah, man, if I hit this, if I had millions of dollars, fuck this, man. I'm not going to work. Fuck them all in. I'm going to the beach, beach and relax. And I'm thinking, relax from what? You could, you could buy weed. After work or before work, you could have a beer even on, on the down low at, at lunch. You have air conditioner at work, your car, in your home. Where's um? Where's the real pain and struggle? each to win something. This one has a connect. Alright. Put us on the board. So we're looking for Arim Tambor. Do that. Is there eighty dollars available prize? Prizes. Let's find out. Let's go quick. Let's see what the universe says. If we get to claim anything and shape the day based off of this. <laughs> no. Why me? I'm such a good person. Why did it happen to me? Why couldn't it happen to you? 
to you, Norbies. Yeah. You know. No one forced me to go buy it. No one forced me to go to that location. I did it. Crap shoot. Comes and it goes. But this is still better than, um, I think the YouTube channel is called Fixing to Scratch. That dude spent, let's say, 190 bucks. Man. On one video, he got five bucks back. Um, I just made three videos. At least got one ticket back. So we're down. You know, we, we started to be at break even because uh, all the ones that I did win. If anything, yeah, dude, that's the way love goes, man. Thank you for the barrio.